Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use the wait for callback feature from Step Functions in conjunction with AWS Lambda, or you can even use this for other services like SQS as well that also support callbacks. And I wanted to make this video because the documentation is absolutely terrible and doesn't tell you how this works, and it's very, very frustrating and took me like two hours to figure out. Um, okay, so just in general, how this works is when you enable this feature, the wait for callback feature, like I have my Lambda function selected here, when you enable this, what's going to happen is that, um, that's actually giving you a little warning here, um, but when you hit this task, your Lambda function is going to be invoked. And what you need to do is you need to extract the task token out of the event arguments from your Lambda function. And then maybe like you store that in a database somewhere and you have some kind of manual process, maybe like a person does some kind of validation or check, whatever. And then you need to call back into step functions using the send task success API. And that API is confusing in itself how it works, but what's even more confusing is how to even get access to that task token from inside this Lambda function. Um, so again, when you hit this function, you have this enabled, your function will be run so that it will be executed, but it will pause. It will not proceed to the next step until you call back with the send task success or the send task failure API. So the first question is, how do you actually get access to the token inside of your Lambda function? All right, so it's a little bit bizarre. So here's how you do it. So when you click on your Lambda function, first of all, have this enabled, have wait for callback enabled. And then um, you can ignore this. This is specific to my application. I, I'm passing in type, which is coming in like from the start of the function. And I wanna like pass it through. And then what you need to do is have a second payload here. So like I'm in the payload section, I'm using enter payload. And so it's reading off of the input to the step function and it's just passing that through. But then the second one here for token, so you have to do token dot star or uh, pound. You, this can be anything actually, it doesn't necessarily have to be token. And then for this, it's pound or dollar dollar dot task dot token. Okay, and what this will do when you use this payload and in conjunction with having this enabled is it will pass this input substituted with the correct value. So in my case, it'll be like the values either purchase or refund because that's what I pass into my step function. And it'll also substitute the token value as well. Okay, so that's how this part works. So let me show you exactly what's going on, like how that, that plays out. Um, I'm going to do a invocation of my step function now. So let's go back. Uh, yeah, we can leave this and okay. Like you can see, I was trying for like so long to get this to work and it was like such a nightmare anyways. So start execution. Um, so let's go and put type here. That's at least how I do it. So type, let me actually make this bigger. There we go. And for me, it needs to be purchase purchase. Because uh, that's how my step function works. So start execution. And you can see now um, we hit the choice, like the input's working, you know, type there. And then you go to the purchase handler and it's not proceeding, right? Like, and, and that's good. It's not actually going to the next step until we call back with send task success. That's desirable. You look at the output, you can see some of the details here as well. I don't even know if it shows you the token. No, it doesn't even show you the token. Maybe in the in here, maybe in here. No, it doesn't even show you the token at all. But if we go into our Lambda function now, and um, here's all my Lambda function is doing. It's just printing the event, and it's just returning a result, okay? Returning this result. This, I want to come back to this because this doesn't work. Returns don't work the way you think. Um, I want to come back to that. I'll explain that in a second. So going into my logs for this Lambda function really quick and just refreshing this. And so remember, I printed the event. And so you can see, so here's the print statement. So it's the type purchase. This is the input, remember? So it's substituting those values that I just showed you. And here's the token, right? So let's grab this token. And now what you need to do with this token is you need to call back into the step functions API with this token. So let me show you that. I'm gonna use Cloud Shell for this. So let's run that now. So it's AWS step functions. Uh, and the API that we need to use is send-task-success. You can also substitute uh, success with failure if you want to fail the task. Then you need to provide the token. And so you need to do it with the task-token. And then open quote, and then just paste in the token. 
and then close quote. And then also, this was really weird. You need to provide the output. So you can say task dash dash task dash output. Now you can put in here just a regular JSON object. It must be a JSON object, by the way. And before I press enter, I want to go back here. Um, oh, shoot. I wish I had this on the other one, but um, so it's on this one. So I'm going to press enter really quick and watch what happens. So press enter. Okay, that succeeded. Let's go back here. This should update. Okay, it went through, right? And so this succeeded. That's great. But why did this fail? This failed because the output that I was expecting to get normally, like how my Lambda function works, is that it returns a string, right? And then this, this function, this other function, reads off of that string. But now, if you, you look what happened here, the output of this is blank, even though my Lambda function in this task handler returned a value, but it's not actually being represented here. And I played with all the settings. I messed around with this quite a bit, and I finally figured out what was wrong. Um, so let me let me kind of walk you through this end to end before we move on to the solution here. So then if you look inside my task handler here, my result handler, which is expecting a string in its input, it's blank, right? There's no input here. So this thing is obviously erroring up, right? So that's an issue. So let me show you how to fix this now. Um, and basically how it works, let me actually explain it to you. Um, it's asynchronous. So whenever this Lambda function gets executed, which is my, my callback function, you'll never get this return sent back into your state machine. It's an asynchronous invocation. So it doesn't care what the output is, okay? So what you need to do is when you send task success using the token as the result, you need to provide this back in the send task success API call. Okay, so let me show you what I'm what I mean here. So let's do this again, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So uh, new ex new execution and type, and this is going to hang, right? Okay, so this is hanging. Let's open up another cloud shell. Um, okay, let that go. All right, um, this just is really. Can I just make this smaller? I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, that's too small. All right, that's fine. So let's do this again. So I got to go grab that token. Let's go grab that token. So where's my token? Refresh. And this should. Okay, so here's the new token. New token. I'm going to copy this and up to there. Perfect. Another weird thing is like it doesn't the, the API command doesn't require you to um, put the like the CL uh, the ARN of your step function either. I guess it's embedded in this token. Anyways, let, let's run this command again. So AWS step functions and it send task success and then you got to do dash dash task dash token and again we're gonna put this in. Now this time in the task output task dash output, we are going to put in the result. I'm actually just going to copy it from uh, my clipboard here or from the side. We're, we're going to put in the result that my Lambda function normally would return, right? So I'm basically providing the result um, right here in the return call. And so this is going to ensure that the result gets sent back into step functions. And then like when I run it, it's going to be passed all the way through. Right. So watch we're, when I run it, we're going to be be successful here. So let's just press enter here and this should succeed. All right. That was good. Come back here. Come on. Big money. There we go. So and if you look at this now, you can see the output is now purchased or whatever I just put in here. And therefore, this is working because it's recognizing the correct string. If you look at its output. Uh, input rather and there it is so that's how you use this feature very very frustrating because the documentation is terrible on aws for this and i hope this was helpful if anyone was struggling with it and uh yeah check out my other step functions video on my channel if you want thanks so much i'll see you next time